Whoa, look at that sunshine, everybody. That is awesome. Feeling so good. This is feeling like springtime. It's kind of not. It's still February. We've still got some cold days ahead. But while I'm out here and it feels great, got my shoes off. Love taking my shoes off. I figured I would tell you one of my tricks, one of the tips that I like to do for my garden concerning wood chips. So this is a no dig, no till garden that I installed this past fall. And it essentially has, I believe four different layers. Let's see, we have cardboard on the bottom. And then from there we have mushroom compost, really awesome mushroom compost. And then from there we have right here, actually across everything is this um, green waste compost. So it's basically leaves, needles, twigs, topsoil, and sand that has been mixed up at a uh, recycling place. And turn, it's been decomposing for about a year and a half. And then on top of that, these rows just have more of that material. And then in between, this is oak wood chips, and then I have pine wood chips all around the edge. And then a border of this, uh, these uh, pieces of wood that are just scrap lumber that I'm using to keep it all, all contained. So that's what I have as far as the materials. But with these wood chips, one thing that I'm, I'm realizing is they, they tend to kind of go everywhere and um, I also want them to start breaking down a little faster. Want them to turn into just awesome soil as quickly as possible, especially because, you know, I'm planting this spring and I want to be able to have uh, a soil that is that is acclimated, it's ready, ready to go. So the wood chips are not where I'm gonna be planting. The wood chips are my pathways. But these pathways are breaking down and they're actually gonna be turning into soil for future plants and future planting. So what I'm thinking is I want to get this, these wood chips a little bit mixed up to where the, the lower wood chips come a little bit more towards the top and vice versa. The reason I want to mix up the top layers of, of wood chips is that I've noticed that, I mean, I always like to try to follow nature and how nature does it out in the wild. One thing I've noticed is that whenever it comes to like the, the wild spaces in nature, what you have is you have these birds that are coming in and they're usually, they scrape around, they mix up, especially turkeys, they mix up the top layer of of leaves or decaying debris and they're looking for bugs they're trying to mix it up but in that process it just makes those areas come alive because i think what it is is it is it's a disturbance it makes it to where those the pieces of wood that were on the top that's keeping dry get mixed into the bottom and then uh, the microbes are mixed around it's like it's like you're spreading around the inoculation of these different fungi bacteria so it's just one thing that I, that I think I'm gonna try out here in this garden is just to go through and scrape the surface periodically especially because like I said I've got these wood chips and it'll keep the, the rows nice and tidy as well as just give the soil a chance to um, have the most contact with other pieces of, of material and um, it's a bit of a hypothesis of mine hypothesis of mine that mixing the the top you know one or two inches I'm not inverting the soil layers I'm just scraping the surface um, I see that in nature happening and it's beneficial so I'm gonna be doing that here and we'll see how it goes mmm smells good yeah could use this pitchfork to really get in there. Go like that and just kind of scrape it around. But I think I'm just going to use a rake. Yeah, this rake will do it. Oh yeah, good stuff. You know, it doesn't really take very long, but the benefits. I think they're gonna be really good. If I had chickens, 
you know, they would come in here and I could throw a seed out here and they would, they would scrape it up as well. They'd get it activated, but don't have chickens right now, so I'll just stand in the place of chickens. Don't be calling me no chicken. Hey. Whoa, Jonah. Hey. Hey, guys. <laughs> What's up? You're stepping on my garden. Bro. Just helping you out here, man. Just kidding. Just packing kidding. down that soil for you. Just kidding. <laughs> I was just telling them about soil, uh, has the benefits of scraping around wood chips and just keeping them alive on the top. How I see that in nature. How, you know, you'll have wild turkeys or deer. Or there's always animals are activating the soil by scraping it around. So, I always try to follow what, what uh, happens in creation. So, that's what I'm doing. Nice, nice. Yep. It's also nice because as you're going through, you can see if there's any weeds. Scraping the top of the soil? Yeah, just simple scraping. Yeah, there's definitely a benefit to it because Paul Gauchi does this. Really? Yeah. He'll scrape, he'll come in and he'll scrape the top to keep the weeds from growing. Oh, yeah. Because he'll see them sprout in, like those little ones over there. That's all good. And he'll just take a rake and he'll just scrape the top of the soil. Yep. And keep them from uh, growing any further. There you go. Actually, Jonah just told me that Mr. Paul Gauchi actually does this too. He scrapes the top of his soil and weeds at the same time. So, good stuff. See you next time on the Garden Guy channel.